Hey guys, my name is Anna. I hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you my favorite products of this year. So it's like a monthly favorite, but this time it's a yearly favorite. And I personally love watching these types of videos because it's basically a compilation of the most important and the best, the coolest things that that person has used, their favorite things. And it's really cool to see what other people like so that way I can maybe purchase those things later. And hopefully you guys will also enjoy this video. So let's get started. During quarantine in March and April, I've discovered this brand called The Ordinary. It's been all over Instagram and then my friend Alex introduced me to this brand. Uh, we FaceTimed and she told me that she has used this HAA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution from The Ordinary and she told me that the results were amazing. So since the prices are also really friendly, I decided to try this brand out and I really like The Ordinary. So I finished like two or three bottles of this um, peeling solution which looks like blood, but it's amazing. I've loved it and I've been using it weekly so I basically peel my face with acid every single week. So you basically put it on your face for 10 or less minutes. If you feel that it's itching or, you know, if you have an allergic reaction, you should obviously test it before you put it on your face because it might be harsh if your skin is sensitive. Uh, but for me, it's been working perfectly and I, I love this one. Another product from The Ordinary is this niacinamide or as I call it, niacinamide, 10% plus zinc, 1%. Uh, it's basically a blemish formula. So you put it before, it's like a serum, and you put it before the cream. And yeah, I, I recently bought a new one. And uh, yeah, this one is almost finished. I loved it so much. And then the last product from The Ordinary is this caffeine solution, 5% plus EGCG. And it reduces appearance of eye contour, pigmentation, or puffiness. So if you guys know me, you know that my under eye bags are huge. They are very, they're not blue, they're not pigmented, but whenever I wake up, I just can see them. And it doesn't have to do with like, you know, you don't drink enough water, you eat like weird things. It's just in my jeans. My dad has the same thing, the face structure. I just have those <laughs> under eye bags. But the thing that I didn't like about them was the fact that sometimes they would get more blue than normal and I would have to use more concealer. And I'm not a huge foundation fan. I don't even have foundation. So the only thing that I use is a concealer and I prefer to cure uh, the cause of the thing. So instead of hiding the problem behind the foundation, I prefer to invest in better skincare and cure it from the inside. But before buying this one, I read the reviews and they were not, you know, 100% positive. And some people said that this didn't work for them. But I decided to buy it. Like, why not? Again, the price was really cheap. It was like six uh, euros, if I'm not mistaken. And I've used it before I went to sleep. And the next morning, I definitely noticed the difference. So, uh, you know, they were not gone, the under eye bag, but they were less blue and less pigmented. Next up, my favorite cream of all times, the ultra facial cream, the most basic cream from Kiehl's. Uh, it's really lightweight, it's hydrating, it's not really heavy, you know, those creams that you put on your face and you feel the oil and everything, I just hate those. I don't even want to talk about this cream a lot in this video because I've mentioned it so, so many times in my favorite videos, in my new in videos because, yeah, I've repurchased it a few times. But it's just this, you know, basic cream and uh, I love it. Another cool and necessary skincare product, especially if you live in a sunny country like I do, uh, is this Eucerin Sun Protection 30% uh, SPF protection. I like this one mainly because it's really lightweight and you can put it on top of your cream and you don't feel anything. Again, not like the heavy, uh, oily cream. No, no, no. This one has a dry touch to it and it's definitely a must-have, especially during summertime. Even though I've read some studies... Oh, that sounded so fancy. I've read some studies <laughs> that you should use SPF protection during winter time too. So, I don't know. These, I have only a few left. So, back in 2019, I bought like a thousand of these because I love them so, so much. We don't have Bath & Buddy Works. And uh, yeah, these are hand sanitizers from Bath & Body Works. Who would have thought that we would be using them every single day? So yeah, if I knew that, I would have bought another thousand of these. Some of them smell like fancy shots at a bar. They smell amazing. Then this one is uh, American Apple. 
I think it's apple pie, it has this apple pie. In America, they cost 1.75, but if I'm not mistaken, if you buy like a lot of them in a bulk, the price is lower. So I think it's like 12, uh, 12 dollars for or ten dollars i don't remember this one i love it so so much god again it's also from bath and body works it's called magic in the air and i've already mentioned it it costs 14 dollars and to me it smells like long island because i've been using this specific mist when i was on long island so it's like you know i love to attach different perfumes and different smells to a certain place or certain memory so that way when you when you smell it again you can relive that moment and pretend that you're on Long Island. And whenever I want to feel happier and just, you know, remember that moment, relive that memory, I just spritz some and uh, yeah, should I do it now? I don't want to waste any of it because we don't have it in Europe. Um, God, it's so amazing. It's like I'm, I'm on a boat in Long Island. I love it. When it comes to hand creams, the most important thing is obviously uh, the hydration, the nutrition, the moisture of your hands after using that hand cream. But for me, it's also the smell because sometimes the cream might be good, the texture, and it leaves your hands hydrated and moisturized. Uh, but the smell is like, mm. I've been loving these Scandi. Ooh, I never noticed the name. Scandi Signature Hand Cream. By the way, did you guys know this is... This is like mind-blowing. Did you guys know that this spike is meant to open the cream? I found out like two days ago because I never knew why, you know, I never noticed that there was like this spike in here uh, and I would use my keys or like, uh, you know, like uh, scissors or something like very sharp to open it. But now, I know. It's, in, it's, it's so insane. Another product from another store is that smell so, so good. And I think I've mentioned it in one of my videos. Everything from another store smells good because um, they've been working with Byredo, which is a really cool brand. And these are um, conditioners for your hair. I've mentioned them before. Really pleasant, almost empty. You could use it instead of a perfume because the the scent stays with you in your hair. So if you do a hair flip, everyone in the room will notice the gorgeous scent. Another hair product that I've been using throughout the last two years and I love it. Dream Long Mascara from El Vive L'Oreal Paris. L'Oreal Paris. Uh, yeah. Um, again, why am I talking about the smells only? I love the smell. It's like this peachy, pleasant summer scent. Summer scent. <laughs> summer scent. Summer scent like in seven. What's in the box? Give me the gun, please. It's really, really nutritious and it's really, really thick and you notice the difference after using it. And yeah, you basically put it after uh, using the shampoo, you put it on your hair for two or three minutes. It makes your hair look gorgeous. <laughs> My grandma <laughs> is sending me pictures of the Black Sea. She's walking. Yeah. Really cool. This is my favorite combination for silky smooth skin on my legs. So yeah, this one is a Buddy Muse, Buddy Muse, Miami Muse Buddy Scrub from Another Stories. Uh, the Miami Muse uh, line, again, the smell is insane. It's incredible, incroyable. So yeah, I use it on my legs first. I exfoliate, I scrub them, and then I use this bad boy, which is it's for men, but who cares? It's this Gillette cool, Sensitive Cool Shave Gel. One day I decided to try my dad's shaving gel and I loved it. So then I decided to get one for myself. And yeah, it's a life changer. And uh, I don't even care. I, and I don't even care that it smells like men. I, I love men's cologne. The scent doesn't stay with you, but it's definitely one of my favorite things and most used things during this year. Uh, yeah, love it. And now let's move on to makeup. So these bad boys, you guys know how much I love EOS. I don't want to talk too much about it in this video because I've been mentioning EOS products in almost every single one of my videos. And yeah, this is the mint one. This is the honeysuckle one. And uh, again, the smell, the taste, everything has to taste like candy in my world. My favorite lip balm and I don't even know what I would do without it. And I even think, like sometimes I think, 
What did people in medieval times do when they had dry lips? I tried so many mascaras this year and a lot of them were good, but nothing beats this one from Too Faced. Uh, it's the Better Than Sex, the famous mascara. It's really good, I love it. It separates your eyelashes, it's not sticky, it's really lightweight. The only thing is, is that it costs 27 euros and, you know, it's like, it's not like 100 euros for mascara. Uh, but at the same time, it's like, hmm, I don't know. But yeah, if we're only talking about the product, not the price, uh, it's definitely worth it. This one is one of my favorite things ever, and it's this concealer from MAC. It's saved me so many times, and um, it's really, you can notice that it's a really professional concealer. It's in tone NC20, and it's the Studio Sculpt Concealer. It's insane. It covers everything. I feel like if you have tattoos, if you have like pimplers or something imperfections that you want to cover, it's like the one that they used on uh, Rick Jenis, the guy with like tattoos everywhere. It's not this one though, but I feel like this one would cover uh, his tattoos pretty well. I love it for every day, but also if I'm filming or if I'm taking pictures. And last but not least is this Epic Ink Liner from NYX. Uh, it's really good. Really precise, just a basic eyeliner. Really cool eyeliner, doesn't run, doesn't leave weird shapes around your eyes. It stays with you all day long. And it's also really easy to wipe off, so that's a good thing. And uh, yeah, that's the last thing that I wanted to mention. I hope you guys liked my compilation of the best things, the most used things, my most favorite things in the year 2020. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much. I hope you have a happy holiday season. Check out my Instagram. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And as always, I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>